Yeah. Toasty one today, folks. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. Uh, on the bench today, we have a Hike Vision Vandal Proof Dome camera. It's a 2CD 2155, I believe. Not sure of the exact suffixes, but it's a 2155 slash 2165, uh, 5 or 6 megapixel camera, depending on how you set it up. Uh, this one's been working rather well uh, until this happened. Uh, I got a service call during the week to go out and have a look at a camera that had gone down during a storm. Uh, Brisbane City copped, I think it was a bit over 100 mil in the space of about an hour of rain. Um, and some of that rain got in here to this connector. So um, the camera went down and uh, was not showing up on the network at all. So I went out, pulled the camera down and found this connector. And also something I didn't find was... Um, a proper installation of the weatherproof plug that high vision cameras come with um, so they do come with a, a, a two or three piece uh, gland that goes onto your um, RJ45 cable in order to connect uh, to create a connection here that is um, for all intents and purposes weatherproof so that hadn't been installed correctly and the water got in and hence we're in this position now a lot of people um, on first glance would probably write the camera off and say she's cactus, look at that termination, or look at those terminals, everything's cooked, it's never going to live again. But I have found this to not be the case in um, pretty much every situation where I've encountered this kind of an issue. Um, you can see at the moment this camera is up and running beautifully. Um, it's producing an image, it's doing everything that's supposed to do. And all I've done to do that is replace the plug um, now bear in mind this is not going to be suitable for going back into a uh, all-weather location all-weather installation because of this but it really is quite simple to get an otherwise dead camera back up and running for um, you know a, an emergency replacement camera that you might want to keep handy for in the instance one does go down for whatever reason um, or if it's just going to be for an installation where you know um, that it's not going to encounter any water ingress or, or moisture or, or vermin, etc. So all I've done is, uh, I've done probably about a dozen of these now and they all work beautifully and they're still working beautifully. Um, there is a tech bulletin out uh, that was released by Hike Vision uh, a couple of years ago um, that denotes their cable pinout. Um, now you'll notice a couple of the colours are doubled up and some of them aren't doubled up but uh, actually have traces on them. So there's a yellow cable and a yellow cable with a silver trace. Um, most of the places that you find these cables uh, where they're paired up in a twist like that, I just use them um, and keep any of the other ones that are the same colour off to one side. There's also um, two lots of power wires that I normally cut off um, purely just for convenience and tidiness sake. And I will take these ones off as well because they are now surplus to requirement. Uh, so they're not going to short or cause any grief. But yeah, the pinout can be found very, very easily online. Uh, just Google Hike Vision pinout and uh, it'll lead you to a bunch of uh, different posts about it. And if you do an image search, you'll see very, very quickly um, where that uh, where that pinout can be found. So none of the colours even remotely line up with a standard um, 568A or B pinout. So just be aware of that. It, you do need to go via the chart. For instance, you know, your white wire goes into your solid brown. Um, the brown goes into um, brown with a white trace. Like it's, it, it really, you know, orange is, um, is green. So it's, it's miles away. Uh, but yeah, once you've got it all pulled apart and, and opened up, uh, the three pairs that are twisted together uh, can stay together and they're the ones you use. So you've got the gray and purple the uh, yellow and orange and the blue and green uh, when you open up the cable you'll find them in a twisted pair then it's just a matter of the only white and brown cables uh, that are in the loom and they go into their corresponding positions now no i would never try and put this into uh, an all-weather environment even if it was going into a junction box you know, the, the hike vision junction boxes that go on the back of these cameras they look pretty, um, they look smart and they line up beautifully, but they are by no means weatherproof. Um, this little uh, cutout here has a grommet that goes in there and that grommet does not seal uh, at all. 
so they are by no means a waterproof enclosure just by putting uh, the hike vision uh, back box on there so yeah definitely a firm no as far as trying to put this into any kind of a weatherproof enclosure even if you were to try and seal it up with celastic i still wouldn't um you know uh, i wouldn't bet the farm on it so anyway very very simple fix um, we'll get you out of a bind if you are somewhere that you need to fix a camera up and get it running again and you don't have access to a replacement for whatever reason um, and even then if you want to leave it in situ in the right place it's going to work perfectly for as long as um, as long as the camera wants to live do use a good quality mech um, some of the the jaws or some of the little metal contacts in the cheaper mechs are not quite close enough together and because this cable is multi-strand and the insulation around it isn't designed to go into a punch down I have found in the past with some of the no-name uh, mechanisms that it doesn't quite bite hard enough to puncture that um, to perforate that insulation so you don't always get a good contact so a good quality mech punch it down to either the 568A or 568B um, pin out that's on the tech bulletin and uh, chances are your camera is going to be up and running for many many years to come hope you found this useful guys and i will be back perhaps before christmas with uh, something else new on the bench if i don't see you before then do have a great break guys and um, look forward to seeing you and you seeing me in the new year cheers guys have a good one